Okay, hey everyone. I know I promised a bunch of videos recently, but uh, thing is, I got a little sidetracked by one of the best shows I've ever seen that my friend loaned me, and I couldn't do anything but that. I couldn't concentrate on anything, so I just watched that and finished it last night. And I am working on some sh shit now, but uh, until then, I'm gonna be putting up this to hold you guys over. I figured I got a new camera. Well, not a new camera. My dad gave me his old one. So I figured, why not show you guys my video game collection? A lot of people have done this, and I don't expect this to get a lot of views or anything, but meh, it's something to put up for a while. So, uh, yeah, let's get right over there and look at my games. So, let's turn that around this way. Alright, well, let's start with the beginning of the video games, my Nintendo collection. Start at A and work our way all the way up to, uh... Um, Z. Let's see, we've got Batman right here. Awesome fucking game. Get in there, bastard. Blades of Steel, which I still consider to be the best hockey game of all time. What's this? The Chess Master. Craptastic. If I wanted to play chess, I'd just pull out my chess board. I'm very good at chess. Let's see, what else we got here? We got, uh, my brother's game, Days of Thunder. That game sucks donkey dick. I think we picked that up at, uh, a video store, that local video store that's going out of business. Donkey Kong, which has scribbles all over it. Actually, Donkey Kong Classic, which has Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr., which is actually a pretty decent game, because I'm pretty good at Donkey Kong. I can actually make it through more than 30 seconds. Whatever the fuck Billy Mitchell says. A dog-eared copy of Double Dragon 2, which I picked up at, uh... Where did I pick that up? Um, Flea Market, because I wanted a Double Dragon game. And that's the best one. Dr. Mario, which I've had, I think, since I was seven. I got it for a Christmas. Awesome. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, which I believe I picked up at a garage sale. Awesome. Uh, you guys remember me reviewing this game, Dino Wars. Yes, I actually did own this game. <laughs> Fuck you, Bandai. Focus, damn you. Fuck you. Of course, DuckTales, possibly one of the best games for the Nintendo ever. I fucking love this game. DuckTales just kicks all kinds of ass. G.I. Joe by Taxon. I did a Let's Play of this a while back, because I own this as well. This is actually my second copy of this, because I lost my first copy when I was a kid. God, if I... If, uh, I hadn't lost all my games, this, this uh, collection would be two shells. Golf, which we actually picked up on accident, because, uh... Shit, um, they thought they were buying a Nintendo 64 controller, and inside the box was this, WrestleMania, and, uh, another copy of Super Mario Brothers. As if anybody needs another copy of Super Mario Brothers. But, I haven't played this much, because it's fucking golf, and I don't find golf interesting at all. Gremlins 2, the new batch. Awesome game. Seriously, this is one of the other few great licensed games. This and Batman. I've... Like, the only two or three that I've actually played that are actually any worth a damn. And I got Jaws, which I picked up at a Salvation Army at the same time I picked up Lethal Enforcers about a month and a half ago. I don't know why I bought it, because it's a terrible game, but I still love playing it. I rented it a bunch of times, and it's just a pretty decent game. And we got Kid Nicky, the Radical Ninja pretty decent game. I never beat it because it's fucking boring or my Nintendo would screw up on me, but I hear it's really easy, but, you know, I just never had that much interest because it's not that fun of a game. And what Nintendo collection would be complete without Kung Fu? Everybody has to own Kung Fu. And Marble Madness, a arcade port, which is hard as tits later on in the fucking game. I mean, it's hard as hell. But, um, yeah, that's my brother's. I think he picked, bought that at the same time that I 
that he picked up Bane of Thunder. Mega Man 2. Best Mega Man game ever. Did a Let's Play of this. The only Let's Play I've actually finished. Let's take that back in this little case. Metroid, second label edition. Get out of the case. Yeah, I got the second edition of Metroid, which is a re-release, I think. I believe after Metroid 2 Return of Samus came out, because, uh... You see those shoulder pads on her thing there? Those weren't actually added until the Return of Samus because that's how they had to do the power-up uh, system. When they pow when she got better armor, her she got shoulder pads. And in this game, she obviously never gets shoulder pads. She'd change colors or something. So that's how they did uh, that, and I believe this is the second re-release. Mission Impossible. Hate this fucking game. Never been able to get past the first level. Fucking balls hard. Paperboy. Everybody loves Paperboy, right? <laughs> the Punisher. An LJN game. Which I did not know that they were fucking that bad at making games. But I actually kind of enjoyed this from time to time. It's not bad. You can't beat it without a Game Genie. But you can usually get past a level or two. One of the better LJN games. Rambo. Yeah. Rambo. I think I got this for Christmas because I was into the Rambo movies when I was like seven. And, uh, yeah, this game really sucks. It's basically a Zelda 2 knockoff, but, you know. Robocop. Yes, I own Robocop by Data East. Not a very good game, but I still play it. Now, these are the two games that are going to actually be embarrassing that I still actually own. Sesame Street, ABC, Let Her Go Around, and Ernie's Magic, and Ernie's Big Splash. Yeah. No. And Sesame Street, 1, 2, 3, with Astro Grover and Ernie's Magic Shapes. Thing is, I never liked Sesame Street. Not even when I was a kid. I hated Sesame Street, so I don't know why my parents bought me these. I also hated Star Trek, but my parents bought me Star Trek models and Star, War Star Trek movies. Now I can't wait to see that new movie. Spy Hunter. I think my brother picked this up because of the car on the front. The show is like a, a bike, a boat, and a plane, but I've never gotten anything but the boat and the car. I don't know if there's like six or seven levels of this, but it's an arcade port that you basically can't beat, so... Yeah. Strider. Picked that up at a garage sale, along with Castlevania. This is a terrible, terrible Nintendo port. Don't ever play it. Super Mario World. Super Mario. Super Mario with World Track Meet, which you need that stupid power Nintendo power pad to play. So yeah, screw that. Got three copies of Super Mario World. Super Mario 2. Super Mario 3, which is probably the best game. Little known RPG dungeon crawler called Swords and Serpents. I picked up at, uh, um, where did I pick that up? Oh, that going out of business sale at the video store near my dad's. That's pretty decent, actually. Wheel of Fortune. Got that from my uncle. Yeah, I never play that. Wizards and Warriors. You know, everybody's got to own Wizards and Warriors, right? It's a pretty decent side-scrolling game. Legend of Zelda. Of course, everybody owns Legend of Zelda. This is like my fourth copy of this, because I always fucking lose my Zelda games. And... Zelda 2. The Adventures of Link. You know, everybody owns that, too. That's a great game. I don't care what people say. It's, I still think it's pretty good. Now, this isn't even counting all the games that I've lost or had stolen over the years. I mean, I've lost Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I've lost Rampage, I've lost uh, copies of G.I. Joe, a copy of Kung Fu. I've lost a lot of games over the years because I'm not very good at keeping track of my games. I really wish I still had Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, but I've been wanting to play that for a while. Oh, I, oh, I missed one. I also have Gyromite, which I picked up at the same Salvation Army because... It was a Nintendo game. Horrible game. I'm planning to do a review of that soon, but, uh... 
Yeah, that's that's just my Nintendo collection that I could show you. So, um, yeah, I'll show you guys my next, not my 16-bit games in the next video, and then I'll probably do my Game Boy games, and then I'll do my PlayStation and Xbox games. So yeah, um, this is the Mega Nerd saying, "Have a nice fucking day."